What's up, guys? This is uh, your boy Spencer and your boy Camp Daddy Campos. What do we got? I'm gonna do a quick video on the Rincon two person TV by Argali. Spencer and I have been sleeping in this on day five tonight. Uh, it's just nice weather up here in Reno, and we've been sleeping out here enjoying the cool weather. So let's walk around. I want to show you just some of the features about the tent. Spencer, the camera guy, come on this way. We got a stove jack. The cool thing about the stove jack is it's removable. You're able to take it out of there and unzip it out if you don't need the stove jack to save a little bit of weight. Uh, the cool material is a poly ripstop, which is nice when it gets wet, it doesn't sag. Uh, a lot of the other teepees and shelters on the market, when they get wet, they tend to sag and you don't want that. You want it to be nice and sharp. I don't have it too taut, but it's you can tell it's it's got a good angle. If you need to uh, tighten these up right here, just pull on them, make them tighter. Uh, another cool thing, Spencer, if you want to step back, if you do um, need to get it closer to the ground, you can have the stake instead of being on the loop, you can have it be right inside of here, which will bring it all the way down to the ground, which is nice when it's windy. If you don't have an insert, um, if you want to keep that wind out. You do have guide points at a lot of different spots here, which is good. This one has already been seam sealed, so there's kind of some, some of that uh, ceiling on there. Got a little vent here, which is pretty nice. You can uh, set that to the side if you don't want it. But of course we want ventilation. Got a couple of reflective points there. And we'll show you the front here. Spencer, you're doing a great job on the camera. I uh, have the toggles to uh, hold back the doors, which is pretty sweet. All right, so this is the shelter with the insert. Uh, the mesh basically could be used as a bug net. It's great to keep all the bugs out if you don't like sleeping on the dirt. Uh, but if you are going to run the stove, then you do not want to use the insert. Um, zips up pretty nice all the way to the top I like how it's a huge opening you don't have like a little tiny doorway to get out of super nice and then you come in and again if you have the stove on this side you're gonna be over here your gears on the this side over here and uh, if you got two people you got room for two it's great that Spencer in here uh, pretty easy to set up. He was able to move this and reset it up today on his own so we can play catch. But really, all you gotta do is do the four corners, get a pole or carbon pole or a trekking pole, and then put it in the middle and lift it up, secure it, and it's good to go. This whole setup is basically, I think, two, two pounds, 10 ounces, something like that. Really good for this much space. I got room when I lay down to still put my gear in the front. Um, with two people, I still got room for us. It's been comfy. Day five in the Rincon. What do you think? Uh, it's good. Yeah, you like it? Yes. Easy to set up? Yeah. Cool. If you're looking to use this for backcountry hunts or adventures, I think it's really good. The thing with something like this, it's gonna have a bigger footprint. You need to find a bigger spot that's flat. It's not narrow like a bivy or a one person or two person tent. So that's one of the cons to something like this. You need to find an open space, but if you can find that, you can be comfy. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Later. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.